Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today, uh, I don't know if you can tell, we're going to be looking at Andariel's Visage. Andariel's Visage is a rather amazing item, and it is also a little harder to come by, especially in its ethereal form, where it is actually extremely coveted for its properties of uh, amazingness on a uh, mercenary. So let's take a look and see what Andariel's Visage has on it, and why it's so good. So right off the bat, we see it has a defense of 387, which is relatively high for a helmet, a strength requirement of 102, which is relatively low, and a level requirement of 83, which is really, really high. Now, level 83 is, uh, is, is end game equipment. We have a 15% chance to cast a level 15 Poison Nova, which struck, which, uh, which is um, a little bit of extra poison damage. Of course, this is supposed to go along with the theme that this is Andariel's Mask. Um, at level 15, we are looking at a total of about 288 to 329 poison damage over two seconds, which is a nice little boost. Um, it's not going to proc all the time, and if you're not a melee character who's in there in the thick of it getting beat down, chances are it's not going to proc much at all. But it's nice to have a little bit of extra damage nonetheless. We also have plus two to all skills on this bad boy. And, uh, and plus two to all skills is, of course, a very desired trait in a helmet. Uh, very, very few characters will look at plus two to all skills and be like, man, I don't need plus two to all skills. No, no, we all we all would like to have plus two to all skills on our helmet. Now, we would sometimes choose helmets that don't have plus two to all skills due to other effects, which we need, but we would like those helmets to have plus two to all skills on them as well. Um, and of course, all skills is better than a specific skill because, um, like for instance, if it's Amazon or Sorceress or Paladin, it's not going to beef up a CTA. So if you are a character who likes to use a CTA or other items that give you specific skills, you're not going to be able to get a plus to skill um, effect with like a plus Sorcerer Circlet or something like that. So, so Andorial's Vision is going to at least give you the plus two to your CTA, which is nice. Uh, we also have 20% increased attack speed on this bad girl, and um, and it's actually pretty darn sweet. 20% uh, increased attack speed in a helmet form is very, very awesome, and of course you can modify this, and you can add even more attack speed. Uh, like, for instance, I have one on my Mercenary right now, which is rocking a 15% uh, 40 Joule, and that 15 40 Joule is making it a 35% increase, uh, which is really darn sweet. Uh, we also have a 10% lifesteal, which does vary by 2%, so we're looking at 8 to 10. And because it is a lifesteal helmet, this opens up a lot of options for mercenaries, because you can obviously go with a weapon that does not have lifesteal on it. Uh, I usually like to have at least some form of lifesteal on a mercenary, because it is very helpful in keeping them alive. And a 2% variance is really not that big of a deal. Uh, we also have a strength on here, which does vary by 5 points, so it's going to be 25 to uh, 30 strength, which is uh, which is actually very, going to be very, very important to be able to make your mercenary able to use specific pieces of equipment, uh, especially if you want your mercenary to use something like a uh, ethereal sacred armor, which is the highest defense item in the game, but also happens to be the highest strength requirement in the game. Uh, we also have an enhanced defense, which does vary by 50%, so we've got 100 to 150% enhanced defense on this bad girl, and um, and it will make a pretty huge difference in the amount of defense that this helmet has, because it is a relatively high defense helmet, uh, especially if you find the ethereal version. Uh, now, we also have the 10% um, maximum poison resist, which is to uh, go along with the theme that this is in Doriel's helmet, because of course she was highly resistant to poison, but she was uh, very, very weak to fire. Uh, we have a negative 30% fire resistance, which is actually a unique effect in the world of Diablo. Very, very few items in the game have negative resistance on them, and Andariel's Visage is one of them. Um, and it is meant to be sort of punishing, because even though this says Andariel's Visage, um, she is weak to fire, so if you are wearing it, you are going to be weak to fire as well. And negative 30% is not a massive amount, but it is enough that um, it may cause some issues in the way you build your character. Um, a lot of the times, people will actually socket this with a Ral rune just to completely counter the negative fire resistance, or try and find a 15% IAS rune uh, jewel that also has fire resistance on it uh, for that purpose. Uh, another thing that people like to do with this particular helmet is put a cham rune in it for cannot be frozen, so that their mercenary has the cannot be frozen effect. Uh, this will completely um, alleviate your need to build cannot be frozen on your mercenary in another way. Um, we also have a 70% bonus to poison resistance, uh, which is also in keeping with the fact that this is a 
very high, uh, you know, very, very andarial based item, right? So she's completely immune to poison, or, or so you would think. And, uh, and this would be a nice item to use when you're fighting uh, Lilith, who is also has a massive amount of poison, because it's going to give you poison maximum poison resistance and massive amounts of poison resistance flat. Uh, we also have a 15% chance, uh, hold on a second, a, a level 3 Venom charge on this, uh, this girl, which is, uh, which is interesting. It will actually give you Venom. I mean, even though Venom is not the most amazing thing in the world, Venom does have some uses as far as um, causing poison damage to be more focused. And uh, if you were to cast this on yourself as a poison character, like a poison dagger necro or something of that type, um, there is a specific thing that Venom does um, by reducing all the poison damage and compressing it down into a very small duration. Now, unfortunately, this does mean that um, you have to hit more often. But um, if you are a very high poison damage character, sometimes this can be good for you. Sometimes it can be bad for you. Um, you may not want to actually use this one, and you might want to use the proc on Venom instead, which is a higher level. Or sorry, um, Treachery, which is a higher level. Uh, and, 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 and overall, I think a lot of people just kind of ignore the Venom proc on Andariel's Visage. Now, of course, we also have the Ethereal version, which has 580 to the uh, defense, which is really, really nice. And of course, you could use that on an, a mercenary. I'll put that to and, um, and of course, you can socket it with whatever you would like to socket it with to, uh, to really build this up. And the really cool thing about Andoriel's Visage is really that it has just a lot going for it. Uh, the plus two to all skills, of course, is going to help beef up your mercenary's skills. That's going to help beef up your skills. Um, you can utilize this on a wide variety of characters. I mean, who doesn't like plus two to all skills with 20% increased attack speed? Um, I mean, Zeal Paladins like 20% increased attack speed and plus two to skills. Uh, Frenzy Barbs like plus two to attack speed, <laughs> plus two to all skills and 20% attack speed. Uh, you know, it just, just about every character out there, with probably the exception of Druid, uh, which we actually got some information that Druid might be going to a normal attack speed build. So we might even be seeing uh, Andorial's Fishes on Druid, Shapeshifter Druids at this point. Um, and even, uh, you know, even Amazons uh, would definitely have nice effects with uh, plus two to all skills and 20% increased attack speed. And even if you take away everything else that this item does, a plus two helmet with attack speed bonus has a lot of uses on a lot of different characters. Uh, but even without those two effects, we still have a 10% lifesteal and a 30 strength bonus, as well as a massive amount of, uh, of poison resistance. And the 30 strength bonus is going to be huge if you want to try and get your uh, equipment on your mercenary early. Because you're talking about, like, for instance, my merc right now has 173 strength. Uh, you can see it. And uh, when I take off the helmet, she goes down to 143, which is a pretty massive difference in the amount of strength that she has. And could be a huge difference in what kind of armor you could put on her. Um, a lot of people like to make a uh, really high end game, like GG level item in an ethereal sacred armor with the highest defense possible. And in Dariel's Visage is the way that you could put that uh, on a particular character. Now, um, I actually really like Andariel's Visage. It is quite a useful item, but that negative fire resistance does sometimes uh, become an issue. Um, as you can see, I'm rocking uh, cap right now, but when I put on the helmet, I'm going down to 64% uh, fire resistance, which is uh, which is because it's it's removing 30% from my cap. So so I'm going from a, a hundred and uh, what? I'm trying to I'm trying to see the exact number here. 170% bonus is what I'm running right now, and then when I put on the helmet, I go down to a 164%. Uh, um, not exactly huge. I guess I must be overprotected by quite a bit, but that's okay. Now, um, where do you find Andoriel's Visage? That's a, that's a good question, right? So let's go over to Silos Pen. Silos Pen is a very good uh, calculator for drop chance. And uh, we can get an idea of the uh, the zones. And they may have to update this eventually because um, because we got a lot of uh, zone changes. A lot of zones are getting level 85 soon. And uh, we're going to have some fun going over all those uh, those new zones. In fact, I have a video up, which you may see before this one, um, going over all the new zones so that you guys can uh, can get an idea of who can spawn, uh, who can fight there, and who can't. So uh, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, and let's pull up Silo's Pen so we can see what's going on. 
All right, so here we have uh, Silos Pen. This is a really good drop chance calculator, and I'm going to uh, plug in that we have 150% magic find. Um, I'm also going to uh, select the unique item and Ariel's Visage, and we're going to go to bosses first, and we're going to hit find. And as you can see, a relatively small number of bosses can actually drop this item. And the Q next to this means that it is a quest only kill. So it looks like for a non quest, we are looking at Diablo. In Hell Difficulty is the best chance for Andoriel's Visage, and Bale in Hell Difficulty is the best chance for Andoriel's Visage. Very close together there. And Mephisto has a decent chance, uh, a little bit higher, a um, little, bit, little bit less of a drop chance than uh, Diablo and Bale, but still not too bad. And uh, that's the quest version, though. So the non-quest Mephisto is 1, 000, 1 in one in 1,911. Uh, Neolithak has a chance to drop it too, whether that'd uh, be a uh, 7,900 chance. And Iswal, for some reason, has a pretty good chance, um, surprisingly, at 14,000. Uh, he's, the, he's the worst dropper of the item, but he can potentially drop it. And uh, let's take a look at Super Uniques. And so we've got quite a few Super Uniques here, but really poor chances on most of these. Um, Neolithak, of course, was on, on our last list. And uh, we've got uh, things like Coldworm the Burrower, um, quite a few of the monsters in Chaos Sanctuary. Um, looks like all the monsters in Throne of Destruction. Uh, Durance of Hate, looks like all of the monsters in Durance of Hate have a small chance to drop it. Uh, Brem Sparkfist, May for Dragon Hand, Wyan Voidbringer. Um, and the council members have a chance to drop it. Uh, Galeb Flamefinger, is Ishmael Vile Hand, Torque Ice Fist. So interesting there. And then uh, if we go to regular monsters, we can kind of see like zones. And um, this one's a little bit more difficult, but it looks like Ancient Tunnels, uh, Disused Reliquary, Forgotten Temple, Maggot Lair, Pit, River of Flame, Chaos Sanctuary, Throne of Destruction, uh, Sewers Level 2, and soon Sewers Level 1, I would assume. Uh, World Stone Keep level 1, 2, and 3. So very interesting there. So if you're looking to find one of these, um, there you go. You've got, uh, you've got your answer. Um, and this item is probably one of the most powerful and sought-after items in the game. Uh, and even in light of rune words and, uh, and GG level items, the Andariel's Visage has held a foothold in the, uh, the endgame community. So if you do happen to find yourself in Andariel's Visage, you've got yourself a really nice piece of equipment that you can put on quite a variety of characters. Um, this particular item does have the uh, Poison Nova Windstruck, so let's go play with that. So if we go out into the uh, the Etten Moors here, or the, uh, the Bridget Highlands, or whatever, and uh, we get ourselves beat down, uh, we should have some uh, some fro some Nova procs coming. Hopefully, there we go. And uh, and as you can see, it's not exactly the most damaging thing in the world, but it will proc occasionally. Um, and especially if you are a melee character, I find it procs far more often. So if you're in there in the thick of it and you're really getting beat down. Um, and there are a lot of items that have Poison Nova proc, by the way. Um, so, like, you could put Breath of the Dying on, you could put Andariel's Visage, um, you know, and then you would have, like, two different procs going at the same time. Um, you could also theoretically be using, uh, I believe, Carrion Wind also has the proc. My uh, Conviction Paladin is actually running uh, quite an interesting little, little setup. But uh, let me take a look on my Wind Druid, Gilbert, because he has two Carrion Winds. And, um, I mean, basically, there's just a lot of items in the game that have Poison Nova procs. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. See, the, the carry win has a 10% chance of level 10. So you could build quite a few items that have Poison Nova procs, and you can have them going off pretty much all the time. Um, but unfortunately, when it comes to poison damage, only one particular effect can be up at any given time. But due to the very short duration of Poison Nova doesn't really matter. Um, the more Poison Novas that you get, uh, they're going to run out really quickly, especially in Hell Difficulty with the negative Poison Resistance. Uh, sorry, the negative Poison Duration. Uh, most of the monsters are literally only going to be poisoned for probably about 0.5 seconds anyway. So having a Poison Nova spamming all the time and doing a constant amount of Poison Damage to targets certainly isn't going to be a terrible thing. Um, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, as always, keep watching.